This is Jake Williams with Middle American Outdoors. This is my fiance and my daughter Willow. Um, we're gonna bring you a family fa favorite recipe, uh, including venison backstrap. So the ingredients you guys will need for this is around two pounds of venison backstrap, and we already um, pre-cut it into about half inch wide slices, and we already tenderized it. Along with this, it has about um, a, a half a cup of milk along with hot sauce in it. And you can put as much hot sauce in there as you'd like. We like about uh, two tablespoons of hot sauce with ours. And then you'll need two eggs, some vegetable oil or any oil you use with frying. And then um, all-purpose flour. And you'll need around two and a half cups of milk. And then um, here are the spices. We like to use cayenne pepper, and then you can um, salt and pepper as needed. What we will do next is take our marinated backstrap straight into the seasoned flour, then into the egg wash with hot sauce as well, back into the flour and straight into the hot oil in the cast iron. Make sure it's good and covered in egg. Back into the flour. Coated well. And straight into the oil. We like to cook this about three to four minutes aside until a nice golden brown color. Um, you can get it as crispy as you like. That's kind of a personal preference. I'm sorry for those delicious cinnamon rolls in the background there. It's been around four minutes on this side. Let's go ahead and give her a flip over. Oh yeah, golden brown. That perfect color, that's gonna be good. With the backstrap now fried, cinnamon rolls now done. We're gonna take this leftover oil that's in the cast iron here. Grab one of these pot handle. We're gonna dump out the oil. I like to keep some of that drippings in there. That just kind of gives it good color and super good flavor in this cast iron. Then I like to estimate how much oil is left in there. I would say that's a good two tablespoons. So I am gonna take two tablespoons of this pre-seasoned flour that we used to batter the backstrap. Take that. spoons I mean stir it in there get it mixed around with that oil get it all it's kind of new to making the gravy part but it's been getting better every single time can only get better with practice right it's like shooting your bow <laughs> so I'm just gonna leave that Cook just a little bit, then I'll start adding milk on it to start getting that to thicken up and turn into delicious gravy. Gonna add just a little bit of the milk at a time. Get it bubbling. Get it in there. You gotta keep adding the milk and staying on top of it or it will scorch on you. It doesn't look like it's gonna thicken up, but the more temperature you add to it, and longer it cooks, it does thicken up into a nice gravy-like texture. 
with the gravy complete, we like to take it and drizzle it on this nice fresh back strap here. And bang, we usually like to serve it with some potatoes, which are cooking in the oven right now. Doing it a little bit differently. Doing a little different recipe than normal, but there you have it. Us here at Middle American Outdoors, I want to thank you for tuning in and stay tuned for another cooking video or outdoor video in that case. Um, we look forward to bringing you all sorts of different content um, as we merge together. Um, I'm bringing you some Kansas action here coming up this deer season. Um, just moved houses so we haven't been able to turkey hunt a whole lot or do anything like that. So stay tuned with us um, as we bring tips, uh, bow tuning tips, uh, reviews, um, assembly videos. We do a little bit of everything. and. Uh, as well as cooking here and we just wanted to show you that uh, delicious venison backstrap recipe uh, i got from my sister my stepsister down in texas that's how they enjoy it down there so i figured i'd bring it to you guys here at middle american outdoors thanks